you know, I wanted to uh, recognize some folks that are not here tonight, um, but that really were instrumental in us being able to celebrate this great meal and enjoy the the, uh, the beverages here and the company in this space. And that is uh, Dan and Mary Kay Shippers. Uh, Dan and Mary Kay wanted to be here, were unable to join, but they underwrote the cost of this of this event, which I think uh, that was pretty amazing. So they they can't hear this. But My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. My father and mother were Clarence and Bernita Hammerschmidt, um, known to most of you that did know them as Clem and Barney. My parents, along with a group of parents living in Hayes and surrounding counties, were some of the original founders of DSNWK and the Reed Center. And this group had a dream. They had a dream for a better life for their children. Their sheer determination was to help educate their children within the school system, participate in sports, give them social skills, and independence to live and work within the community. My family always knew mom and dad were an inspiration, well-respected within uh, the Hayes community. And my dad was also well-known in Topeka because he was pretty vocal for all the work that had been accomplished. But nobody ever realized what an inspiration my brother Terry had become. He was kind and he was very highly respected in the com community with the help of my mom and dad. They made sure that he was well known. DSNWK was such a help to us and much needed support and guidance during Terry's lifetime. I want to end and not go on anymore by sincerely thanking all the staff of DSNWK for all you have done and you continue to do. You make this world a much better place to live in. Bless you all. I always thought my grandfather was just such a fascinating person. And I think part of his interest in seeing everyone be able to learn was that he was so enthusiastic about learning. And he went through so many different changes and phases of his life. He wrote about a lot about ethics. That was a strong interest of his. So he worked um, in psychology and started to teach psychology. Um, he was always someone to be very sensitive to the rights of the other underprivileged. So I think that his appreciation of the value of learning and wanting to share it with everyone started from his own experiences, very young, going through so many different cultures, different times, different settings from the farm to the college to the university and science and research. In his 80s, he was studying German, trying to relearn it. So he really embodied that spirit of lifelong learning. And he was just a wonderful, fascinating man. My grandfather is usually known as a psychology professor. It is less well known that he was also a very early scholar in the field that is now called business ethics and corporate social responsibility. In fact, this area of his interest is directly relevant to DSNWK because one of his concerns was with unreasonable restrictions on employment. He would certainly have been a strong advocate for providing employment opportunities for persons with disabilities. Dr. Reed, more than any other person, got the state of Kansas interested in his program for exceptional children. Under that definition, the Fort Hayes State Leader of Education and Psychology included both the exceptionally bright students and the students who were exceptional in that they needed special education because of physical or mental handicaps. Almost single-handedly, he obtained statewide acceptance of his goal. The special education classes now offered throughout this state came about largely because of his effort. And many other states have copied the Kansas program. It has been said that one man dedicated enough 
can change the world or much of it. Dr. Homer B. Reed was such a man. The Vision of Hope Award was created to recognize those individuals who have been a guiding light along our more than 50 year journey of creating opportunities for people regardless of their differing abilities. These award recipients, through their actions and example, give hope and, emp and empower the fulfillment of DSNWK's mission. Join me in congratulating, I think, Lynn or Homer, if you want to come up, uh, the 2020 Vision of Hope Award recipient. to uh, recognize our our next Vision of Hope Award recipient, uh, Jim and Sally Stansberry. You know, Jim and Sally are, are very special friends to us. And we honor both Sally and, and you, Jim, with this award. And so uh, you are a giver and a friend. I'd just like to briefly say that Sal and I both were very fond of this organization, very grateful for all of the services provided to our son, and I think the people in this whole Northwest County area should be very grateful and appreciative that DSWK exists in this area. Jim spent a bunch of uh, bunch of years at the helm here at DSNWK, and so I can't think of anyone more fitting to uh, to receive this Vision of Hope award uh, than these two people um, involved in so many ways while they were here, but they continue to be involved with us through our efforts with our capital campaign. Um, there's a named fund after them. You know, they're just happening people. Thank you. We feel honored and blessed by all of you. Thank you so much. When I thought about legacy, the legacy of DSM of the UK is the people who we serve. They are the legacy that that is the fabric, as Jerry is who said, of DSM of the UK. And that legacy touched those parents to uh, come forward to think of the many, many decades of service that um, have been given by the staff. Those countless hours when nobody is watching, when they provide gentle and loving supports. So God bless you all. Thanks for both those and myself. Well, I'm one of the few people in the room that actually took a class from Homer B. Reed 60-some years ago, psychology. Now, I remember in the basement of Rarick Hall. I have to say, developmental services has been wonderful for us and our family, but anyone who has anything to do with develop, development services of Northwest Kansas should be so appreciative of what they have. People around this town don't really even realize what a wonderful place you provide. I got, I got involved with VSMWK because of my brother Andy. He was lived in Hill City in the group home there for uh, almost 30 years as his adult life. And it was really home for him, and I really appreciated, you know, the, the environment that DSNWK provided for him to get, to allow him to be the person that he could be. We, we didn't learn along the way how to take care of her. Nobody really told us what to do to take care of her. We, you know, we went to doctors, and they would say, they would give us a diagnosis, and there was nobody who really said, this is what you do to take care of her. But DSNWK did. And so we felt that knowledge 
and that closeness to our family just as a result of somebody saying to us, these are the things that you can do to help her and to take care of her and to help her life get better. It's a quote I'll leave with you. It's a, it's a quote from uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, and it happens to be embossed on our donor board at the office. And it says, you can do what I cannot, I can do what you cannot, but together we can do great things. And uh, let's end on that thought. Thank you so much for being here.